on. I have my official travel jumpsuit on because we are on the road again. I just arrived in Stockholm, Sweden. So I came here to go to a Bruce Springsteen concert with my mom and dad. So come along. I have actually been in Stockholm before because my friend used to live here and I have visited her many times. However, a lot of time has passed since I last was here, so I was excited to be back. Even though Stockholm is ungodly expensive, this train ticket from the airport to Stockholm cost 29 euros. I bet there is a cheaper way to get to the center and that's why probably the platform was so empty. Anyway, a fun fact as I'm traveling in this luxury train. In Finland we actually learn Swedish in school, because it's our second official language. I used to be quite good at reading and writing Swedish. Nowadays I can't remember much else than Jak elskade. It's a bit of a shame to be honest. Okay, so then I bought a metro card. My parents had already arrived a few days before because they went to Bruce's first concert in Stockholm too. They are super fans, you see. So I headed to the Airbnb where my parents were already waiting. I got out of the wrong exit, so now I'm a bit lost. <laughs> Next we are going to Gamla Stan, so old town. I also had an outfit change. <laughs> Mom's outfit. <laughs> and dad's outfit. <laughs> Great, let's go. I always love old towns and Stockholm's is no different. Sure, it's touristy, but I still enjoy the atmosphere. There are cool art shops and because of all the narrow streets and medieval architecture, I can't help but imagine that I am in a fantasy book. What's new? Speaking of fantasy, Gamlestan is a gem because there is this mind-blowing fantasy and sci-fi bookshop. There were so many options and books I had never heard of. Everything seemed so good and I had trouble deciding, but eventually I ended up with The Ashes and Star Cursed King, a mistake by the way, and this promising book about a cat trying to find his friend and ending up in cat hell. Question mark? <laughs> Dinner, we went to a vegan restaurant called Verte. I was feeling experimental and took a dish that had vegan tuna in it. I'm not the biggest fan of fake meats, so for me this was a big move. So here I have tunish bowl, so vegan tuna. Dad and mom took green pea. Oh. Green pea bowl. Yeah, with Yum. Tämä on hyvä ehkä vähän liian majoneesi okay. for a little workout session because my parents are sporty people so here we are after saying good morning to all the ducks we found an outdoor gym and here i wanted to show you the best warm-up for hips 
So here you go. I dare you try it next time you work out. This outdoor gym was exceptionally well equipped and I couldn't resist these monkey bars. I could actually make it to the end, so here's proof if you were doubting me. You can honestly have such an effective workout without any weights. This workout actually inspired me to get back to calisthenics. Then I needed to do quickly some work before we headed out of the door again. That was so nice. I loved all the art. Now we are heading for dinner and I'm starving. <laughs> Mom and dad are walking so fast and I'm very dead. Oh my god, wait for me. Well, this view is pretty impressive. That is where we came from and we went all the way there to here. Finally. It is concert day, yay! By now you know the trail. Food, some work, and then squeezing in a nice outdoor workout. And 
sind wir auf Again. We didn't have much time, so we headed straight for an early dinner to Gamlastan again. What can I say? It's a nice area. One of my favorite things abroad is to look around in supermarkets. I know some of you can relate. <laughs> so we decided to come to our Airbnb already and now we can finally go to this cafe. And one of your favorite songs from Bruce? Uh, I guess uh, I have to say Badlands. Badlands. Mom. Ghosts. Ghosts. For me, waiting on a sunny day. <laughs> Again. Again. We are hanging with us. Scandinavia. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.